Baggy or wide fitting pants are an amazing thing to add to your rotation. They give you a relaxed style that's ideal for everyday outfits. It can be easy to get the style wrong though, especially if you've only ever worn more fitted pants. This can put a lot of people off and sometimes make people think that this style just doesn't suit them. However, that's not usually the case. Almost anyone can wear baggy and wide pants and look good. In today's video, I'm gonna go over what to look out for when buying and then show you exactly how to style them. Keep in mind though, that this is just what I've found has helped me. What works for me might not work for you. These are just guidelines, not rules. For reference, I'm 5 foot 10, around 140 pounds, and I typically wear a 28 to 29 inch waist, and I'll leave links to everything I'm wearing down in the description box below. Number one, make sure they actually fit. First of all, it sounds simple, but you gotta make sure that the pants actually fit you properly. It's easy to think that just because they're wide and baggy, then this should mean that they're super oversized. That definitely isn't the case. You want it to look intentional, not like your pants are just too big for you. So this means ensuring that they actually fit you around the waist. If you need a belt to keep them up, then they're too big for you. Some pants do have a lower rise and are designed to be worn around the hips, so in that case, just make sure you can wear them around the hips without them falling down. They should be comfortable to move around and sit down in, and you shouldn't be having to pull them up every few seconds. I've got two pairs to show you in today's video. The first are the Carhartt Jane pants. These are women's jeans and have a slightly higher rise that sit more around the waist, so I size down to a 28. Then I've got the weekday Astro jeans, which are made to sit more around the hips so I sized up to a 29. Now in relation to sizing, make sure they're not too long or short either. I'd say the ideal length is when the pants start to fully break over your shoes. It's fine for them to touch the floor slightly, but you don't want them completely covering your shoes and dragging along the floor in my opinion. And on the other end of the scale, a cropped look isn't going to work well either. Baggy and wide pants that are too short look kind of awkward, like somewhere between a pair of jorts and three quarter length trousers. I would typically wear a 30 inch inside leg with regular pants, but because I want that full break over the shoes, I went for a 32 in both of these. Of course, the weekday Astros hit a little bit lower because they're made to be worn around the hips, but it still works. Number two, proportions. Next up, the one thing you'll notice with every outfit that looks good with baggy wide pants is that they've got their proportions on point. Specifically, the top you're wearing with the pants is gonna play a crucial role in your proportions. If you go baggy and wide on bottom, then baggy and wide on top, you could look like you're drowning in your outfit. For the style we're going for here, since the pants are long and wide, you're generally going to want your top to be shorter and slightly slimmer. You probably already know, but this is known as the rule of thirds. By splitting your outfit into two, with the top section making up one thirds, and the bottom section making up two thirds, you're left with a well-proportioned outfit. Put it really simply, if I was 90 centimeters tall, I'd split the outfit so that my top was 30 centimeters long and my bottom was 60 centimeters long. If we compare this outfit with an outfit that doesn't follow the rule of thirds and instead just splits the outfit in half 50-50, you can see the proportions just don't look as good. It gives off the impression that no thought went into this outfit and in my eyes just lacks style. We can't explain why the rule of thirds looks good, but it does and it's been used by artists, architects and photographers for centuries. I've found that most tops are just too long for my body type. So I'll look out for specifically shorter tops like this weekday Jesper cardigan or an old t-shirt or vintage dress shirt that I've cropped myself. Another option is to simply fold your top up or tuck it in. It takes away from the relaxed look slightly, but it still gives you those nice proportions and will make your outfit look so much better. It may not work with everything, but applying the rule of thirds might help you out if you're struggling with this style. Number three, what shoes to wear. Next up is a bit more difficult and it's finding the right shoes. The obvious choice with baggy wide pants is to go with chunkier shoes and that's why boots are always a good option. Boots generally have a thicker outsole which makes them wider, especially if you're looking at something like Doc Martens. They usually have a bit of a heel on them as well which is nice especially if your pants are dragging on the floor a little bit. I have these Camion boots from Our Legacy which have a wide square toe as well as a heel 
so I find they work great with baggy pants. For sneakers, there's a ton of options as well. The obvious and most popular one is the New Balance 550. Even though the trend is dying a bit now, you can see why these were favoured so much over the past few years, because they match perfectly with baggy pants due to their size. Air Force Ones and Jordans are going to work as well for the very same reason. I actually like how my New Balance 991s look with these pants. They're not the chunkiest of sneakers, but it still works. It gets a little bit more difficult though when trying to style slimmer shoes. It can definitely still work, but I think it's gonna take a bit of trial and error. Personally, I think it looks a bit silly when you've just got a tiny little slither of shoe poking out from the bottom of the jeans. And this is what usually happens when you pair really slim shoes with baggy wide pants. The way to rectify it would be to ease off on the bagginess a bit. Just like with the pants and top, you want some decent proportions between the pants and shoes. So a good amount of shoes showing versus jeans breaking ratio, if that makes sense. As I said, this is definitely an area to experiment with though. For example, you wouldn't think that Sambas or Chuck 70s would suit this style, but I actually think they look alright, and I've seen a lot of outfits with them that look amazing. Number four, the right design. So the last point is kind of related to the first, but I think it deserves a section all on its own. And that is to ensure you're buying pants that are actually designed to be baggy and wide fitting. As I said earlier, you want it to look intentional and not like the pants are just too big for you. You shouldn't just be buying a pair of straight leg pants, sizing up and then think you've got that baggy wide look. I mean, you can obviously do that if you want and you like that style, but it won't look like the silhouette we're after in this video. Anything that isn't designed to be baggy and wide fitting won't have enough room around the crotch and thighs and won't have a large enough opening at the ankle. So the pants won't have that nice break over your shoes. Instead, you'll probably find that they start stacking up your leg. This is definitely a look that some people go for, but it's not what we're after in this video. We're in a bit of a golden age of baggy clothing right now. You can get lovely wide pants in most places. The ones I actually really wanted were the black wide leg jeans from Jacob Keller's brand, Bare Knuckles, but they sold out instantly, unfortunately. But as you've seen, I think the Kaha and weekday pants do an amazing job as well. And there are plenty of others out there, so you'll easily find something. You've just got to make sure they're designed to be baggy and wide. So there's my advice if you're struggling to get the baggy wide look to work for you. One thing I didn't mention, but is just as important, is having the confidence in yourself to try it out. I know that's easier said than done, but if you don't feel comfortable, then you can look a bit awkward and it eats away at your style. But this topic could be another entire video on its own. For now, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Ta-ra.